This poem is Juliet by Phyllis Kostenbaum. A young Sharon looks like someone else's daughter, the same unreflective round face. Her hair is permed, not unbecomely, no more bouffant, no more cigarettes. I expect her to have acne, but she doesn't. Who is she? The Sharon who fairy souls to hell is a man. And which river? Let these drinkers forget their past. Sharon reminds me of it whenever I want most to forget. I am most reminded. Her black suit is history. Its jacket worn to Romeo and Juliet. Its skirt brought to the consignment shop because, like her, I have gained weight. Or is it the river Styx, not Letty? As in, sticks and stones will break my bones. You suck me dry, my words over a late dinner at the downtown restaurant. I raise my voice to men in. Sharon's daughter didn't marry early like Sharon. She's living with her boyfriend. And I understand she's gotten really large. As large as the neighbor who bakes, who's in a wheelchair. Whom I should visit. My thin daughter too thin to go to Weight Watchers, goes to Weight Watchers. I get on the scale in the kitchen every morning before I go downstairs to write. I take hormones and bleed like a girl. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Now, listen to the piece two more times. Then set a 15-minute timer and tackle this prompt. Write about a name that you know multiple people from your past have. What traits do they share? What makes them very different? Also, if you can, try to incorporate these five words into your writing. The first word is jiggle. J I G, G, L, E, jiggle. The second word is pollen. P, O, L, L, E, N, pollen. The third word is rustle. R, U, S, T, L E Russell. The fourth word is fresh decay. F R E S H D E C A Y. Fresh decay. And the final word is moon wake. M O O N W A K E Moonwake. Remember, your piece can be poetry, prose, a script, anything. The key is just to write. All right, you can begin now.